32 shots in total. Uh, several on target, the most important, of course, being the last one of the game as Real Madrid eventually kick off their Champions League campaign uh, with a win. Mario, let's start with you. Why are you shaking your head? <laughs> because he's so good, you know? Like, I mean, if you don't like football, then, then, then you should not be watching them. Because, come on, you know, if you're a kid, you know, you have a dream. He started at Birmingham, built up his dream, goes to Germany. And then you go to the glorified Real Madrid. Nobody in football can say, even if you, you support any other team in, in Spain, you could be a Barcelona fan or a Atletico, you know, this weekend's going to be a big game, of course. Them two are going to meet. But when you play for Real Madrid and you do this, but he has, even when he scored the goal, if you look at him, the way he scored the goal, he's not a striker. He's not a Harry Kane. Like, you say, oh, the ball gets striked on the goal, so he's now on a move to see if the goalkeeper drops the ball, then I tap it in. But he got all those things in him. And I still ask myself, how can a midfielder be <laughs> capable to do all those things what strikers normally do? How can he know? Like, even things like this, you know, sometimes guys, I ask myself, why when I wasn't playing football, nobody was teaching me moments like this? Because I would have loved to score too. <laughs> six out of six. Come on now, this is amazing. Uh, I was I was watching the game and 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 I was just started laughing when he scored. Did he say, "What are you laughing?" I was like, "He's done it again. It's it's happened again, <laughs> and it's another scrappy, horrible late goal." But he's in the right place at the right time. Yeah, it just it just couldn't have gone. He couldn't have scripted it any better. Let's move to this club, you know, you know, and also for Ancelotti. In his last year, before he takes a Brazilian job, under a bit of pressure, you've got injury to Courtois. You had injury. Who was the other one? It was Vinicius Junior. Vinicius right? Junior. Yes. Mil Militao yes. with a cruciate uh, in one of the games. All these Benzema leaves for Saudi Arabia. He's thinking, <laughs> who's going to get me the goals? And so for Ant not just for Jude Bellingham's start to his Real Madrid career, but also for the manager to. I mean, they dominated this game, but other games where they haven't played so well. And Bellingham stepped up, three points. It is a manager's dream to have this guy. Yeah. It's, it's, and look, Mario mentioned it. He's not a striker, mm. but he's a bit like Raúl, like when he was at his peak, in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. Why is he in the right place? The right. It can't be luck each time. Well, no, it's not. Uh, first of all, in in his movement away from the ball, as uh, Federer Alberto is allowed to cut to the inside, which is what makes the play here. Poor defender from Fofana, who sells himself out and allows then Valverde to cut to the inside, take the shot on goal. As Valverde is going to take this shot on goal, you see the movement of Jude Bellingham. I'm streaking inside the six-yard box because if there's going to be a rebound, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be the one who's going to be attacking the ball. Everybody else is standing still watching Valverde. He's the only one moving towards goal. The defenders are not stepping out to Valverde. They're standing still. So if you're the one guy who's moving, guess who's going to get on the ball? Who's going to be able to attack it? Who's going to be able to react first? The one who's on the move, not the one who's standing still. And he does this time and time again. We saw it against Getafe mm -hmm. late, in yep. which it's a shot that David Soria, the goalkeeper for Getafe, should be saving. He doesn't. And who's the one attacking the ball? Who's the one on the move? It's Jude Bellingham. And it is, in some ways, by design, in the way that Ancelotti sets his team out, where he's been given the freedom at the top of that diamond to go and join in the attack. And Forget he does that, it time is. and time and time again. And it's timely goals. Yeah. That's the I mean, other thing. That's it's not how many minutes he played. Mm. That's when the goals were. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what's worrying me? Where's he going to go oh. for a beer in Madrid? What do you mean? <laughs> oh. he's, going to ha he's, going to, he's going to have to go to that karaoke bar that you used Why to go to. Why can't he go for a beer in Madrid? He's, no, no, he's, then. He's right. He's right. He is going to, at the moment, he, this boy is going to get swamped wherever he, he goes. I'd love it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's going to come and say, I like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not buying any drinks go. tonight. You cannot go. I, I, but, I myself went <laughs> Madrid, and I had the same. I came there. Oh no, you're not. No, 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 no. You're not comparing yourself no, to Bellingham. No, 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 no. Let me tell you this. No, let me tell you this. I went there, and I was with Seedorf. And don't come, come and tell me Seedorf is not a name in Madrid. Oh I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, so I'll give you that. I was with Seedorf, and and Seedorf said to me, "You can get out of the car, Mario, but I cannot come with you." And I looked at him. I said, "Why can you not?" He said, "Believe me, if I come out of this car." It's a whole different story. So imagine Bellingham now. You think he's going to be able to walk in the city and just walk oh. around and just go, no, 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 no. What a hard this life. Oh, poor Jude. 
<laughs> I've got some places, Mario. I can take him to some yeah. places. Yeah, he's, be... I, don't, I don't think he wants to go to your places, Dan. <laughs> so what Bellingham needs to do, he needs to phone his best mate Sidlow oh, yeah. Yeah. and get Sid... your number and tell him some backstreet places, yes, some exactly. of those spitting sawdust you used Very to go much to. places, places no, that look the point, the point is, is like, you know, he, he is... He went in there as a star and he's quickly... I mean, I don't think any of us... I would say six and six is a surprise. But I don't think any of these, any of us who have sort of analysed this move, is surprised at how he's just gone in there and and not been in awe of anybody. And they're lucky they got him, Ali, yeah. because we saw again today those struggles that, that, that we've seen in front of goal. This is going to run out for Bellingham. You know, oh. this isn't going to continue, obviously, for his heart for the whole yeah, season. Of you, yeah. you negative man. <laughs> Are Real Madrid going to be okay? <laughs> Uh, they're, go they're gonna be okay in most of La Liga games, and they're gonna be okay in the group stage of yes. Champions League. But that's not where the expectations are for Real Madrid, and that's not where the barometer is for Real Madrid. It, winning against Union Berlin at home is not how you measure success for Real Madrid. Mm -hmm. And look, w was Jose Lu unfortunate today? Yes. He won a bunch of headers inside the 18-yard box. None of them went in. Good save on a couple of them by, by the goalkeeper. But it does underline and highlight something that we've already talked about. And that is, there is no real striker here. Jose Luis he, seems to be the short-term answer. But they're missing, of course, a guy that can do that consistently. He's not that guy. He's a good piece to have, not the guy. You also miss Vinny Jr. today. Sure. In a game in which, as the game went longer and longer, Union Berlin started dropping off and dropping off, dropping off, and you need somebody who can break somebody down in a 1v1 situation, Vinny would be that for you. So you assume that him coming back is going to help. But Bellingham scoring these goals early on in the manner in which he has, it, it only serves to mask a problem that is not going away, that's still there and may just show up in the worst time possible. And worst time possible is the latter stages of Champions League. This is, this is a... This competition has got the makings of a really good competition <clears throat> if somehow, if somehow Man City slip up. Right. Yeah. If somehow, <laughs> in the, like the Red Bulls of F1. If you get if some, out of the way, then it's I'll, I'll be honest at the moment, football's not played in paper as we know, right? But at the moment, we can go through all the other big elite teams and find some serious flaws with them. They're not quite firing, they've got problems up front, they've got problems at the back. Not saying City are perfect, right? But, but they really are a well-oiled machine. Uh, and at the moment, there's nobody, and it is early, there's nobody among the real big boys I'm looking at thinking yeah. they're going to really give City a problem. Yeah. Uh, and that's a concern if you're outside of, of Manchester City. Uh, we've seen them been knocked out before at mm -hmm. the, the knockout stages when they've sort of taken their foot off the gas or they've let their guard down. If that doesn't happen... These other big ones, Real Madrid, Barca, Bayern, uh, Arsenal, who are in when You could put Arsenal in with some of the other strong teams now because the others are not flying. But at the moment, they're really going to have to step up their game or City are going to have to down their tools or they're going to win this competition again.